X, I heart Sora X, and X Rainbow Queen X. And we're here to finally do a fucking video, and we're gonna do another anime review on Hitalia. Hitalia has exploded into popularity, and of course, we jumped on the bandwagon with everybody else. So, we're gonna do a little review on it. Hitalia started off as a webcomic, basically mocking World War II and the countries that are in it. And the web. As you can see, we're having war right now, like they have war in book! Well, obviously, the original was the Axis powers, and this is followed Germany, Italy, and Japan. It was a great, great book. It makes me laugh. I'm obviously, in the Russian accent, because I am Russia. See the scarf. And I'm going to be in a British accent because there's really not much else I can do. But, um, basically, it, like I said, Italia is nothing but one giant parody of World War Two. It was, it's made by Hidekaz Himu, fuck, Himuruya. <laughs> Fucking genius. <laughs> and it's it's very short actually. They're basically just tiny four panel comics. But it's extremely racist. And see it's on only four panel comics, but they basically took as much as they can and just collect them into one manga. And made it as racist as they possibly could. It so so any of you white supremacists out there, this is the book to read. But see Italia is a great manga for anyone to get into because it's comedic, so and comedy manga always go over very well. Look at Gurren Logan. Everyone loves Gurren Logan. And you would also like it because it'll help you get an A plus in your history lessons. Most of it, not all of it. I'm just with the British, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem. Also, like no, Russian now then? <laughs> I just got back in the Russian accent, so here's the problem. <laughs> Well then, who am I now? <laughs> <laughs> You're Italy. <laughs> I could do all kinds of accents. <laughs> Big Brother France, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> See. Big Brother France, you're so mean. Why do you do this to me? I step on you to make you shorter. <laughs> <laughs> to get back on topic. Yes. Basically, you, everyone out there would really like Italia. See, they've dubbed it recently, and it's over Axis Powers episodes 1 through 54, and... <laughs> because obviously we've switched places now. Would you like my shirt? Yes. <laughs> Some of you would like to see her topless now, wouldn't you? Five dollar! <laughs> and I just switched again. <laughs> They're having problems. <laughs> they recently dubbed the first season, kind of, not really seasons, but all of Axis Powers, and the dubs are actually really, really good. Like, you wouldn't suspect the people of Funimation to have such good accents, and I don't know if they had coaches or they just automatically knew how to do them or something, but they're actually really good at them. And, like, they're also... This has nothing really to do with anything, but they're also making Black Butler. They're dubbing that, and they Shameless call it... plug. <laughs> they told us at a convention that we went to that they went through such great lengths to get ac the accents perfectly that they went and got some Indian people from India to do the accents in Black Belt. Thank you, come again! That was racist. <laughs> well, this is Yowie. <laughs> <laughs> All of Italia is Yowie. <laughs> so anyway, the dubbing, you actually don't have to worry so much about it. You can watch either or, it doesn't really matter, but see, the, the thing is, the sub version... They don't. Get, they can't do as much of the jokes because it's only in Japanese. They they can't have like. The subs are censored. Basically, because I mean it's Japan dubbing it about the satire against itself sixty yeah, years ago. Here is the problem: if you get the dubbed version, it comes with the subs, but it's the subs from the sub version. So be careful. If you're trying to if you're trying to read along with what they're saying, it's not much of the same as what's going on. Most so. most people don't really put on subtitles, but I get what you're saying. And, see, like, the dubs, they don't mind, like, because this is American, we really don't mind saying whatever the hell we want. They will gladly throw out any kind of joke that you can, like, they'll they blatantly say out, Oh, girls are illegal in your country, China, right? Or, You're a terrifying me. <laughs> yes, or that, you know, America is nothing but a giant diabetic <sighs> obese, <sighs> obese, you know, son of a bitch. So, 
See, the dub's cool because they have more jokes in there, but again, if you're a if you're a hardcore sub fan, you could still watch Hitalia subbed and just still be fine with it. Or if you speak Japanese, this problem is null and void. Why would they why would the Japanese person be watching this? <laughs> <laughs> so on a scale of one to ten, I would definitely give Hitalia a nine because anybody 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 could like this. Like Andy Vine can get into it. Uh, I got my little brother into it just a couple days ago, and my older brother into it. What's your favorite part about Hitalia? <laughs> Vodka! <laughs> or, it makes me pleasure smile to know they'll soon be destroyed by my overwhelming power. He Russia, Russia, <laughs> Russia. <laughs> or, flying <Flame McBuddy. laughs> Anyway, he's a blatant Russia fanboy. Like, when I told him about Hitalia, the first thing I said was, you'll like Russia for two reasons. He is cynical, and he wears scarves. <laughs> I also like England. Well, yeah, but England's just fucking insane. You know, gi giant eyebrows. Wax them. <laughs> England is hilarious because you know he hallucinates. Yes. My favorite parts, well, not parts, but my favorite characters are America because he's an idiot. Italy because he's adorable and doesn't know where he is. Uh, Germany because. I love Germany. Yes, Germany is hot. <laughs> I hate that he's licked his hair back, but he's still hot. Draco Malfoy! <laughs> yes, Germany and Draco Malfoy are the same person. It makes perfect, perfect fun. And Japan is Harry Potter because you can't address his feelings. Does that mean it's Italy is Ron? <laughs> wait, no, 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 wait. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> Trademark. Uh, who else is there? Um, um, Austria. Austria is adorable. Except I don't like his dub voice all that much because it makes him sound like a homo. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just stay down here the rest of the time? <laughs> 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 I'm, like I'm fat like America! <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, Austria's voice is weird because it's like, okay, you're going to listen to me now, so no, suck it don't. up. No, we don't. <laughs> Do you have fun? No, we don't. <laughs> I'm going to express my anger through the piano now. <laughs> You express your, you express your anger through Chopin. <laughs> Who else is there? Um, 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 um. Spain. Oh, Spain is so fucking cute. I love Spain. He doesn't really show up too much in Axis though, but he's still really adorable. He shows up at the very beginning in the Chibi Italia. Yeah. But that's a lot of things you love doing right now. <laughs> Switzerland's weird. I hate Poland. I hate Poland. I hate, hate, hate Poland. I cannot express that enough. I hate Poland. He is an annoying... She hates Poland. If you don't get the point, read the description! Oh, Finland's adorable too. Because he has the weirdest... In the dub, he has the weirdest voice in the world. It's like, Merry Christmas all! I'm going to bring you places now, yes! It's, I, it's so weird. Oh, um, Sealand, because I have a problem with little boys. <laughs> France! Oh my god. Oh, France! I hate France! I hate We're him. We're not sure about his sexuality at the moment. <laughs> I'm not even sure he's a person! Well, they're countries, but that's beside the point. Uh, Lithuania and Latvia are cute. Russia smushes them. Yes. <laughs> Keeps them small. Diggity. Oh, um, in terms of how accurate it is to history, it's pretty spot on. If you're trying to learn Revolutionary War stuff, there's only really one scene, and it's kind of inaccurate. <laughs> it, there's, like, England's on this side, and America's on this side, and America Spoiler. has tons, tons of men, and uh, it's just England. It was the other way around. <laughs> We just won by guerrilla warfare. A shameless plug. If you didn't pay attention in your history class. Okay, um, let's see. Sub dub, we rated it, said our favorite parts, characters. It, uh, it's totally something you, uh, anyone can get into. It's definitely, if, if even if you don't, just go to Borders and get this. If you really want to just start, like, if you want to go cheap. Well, that way they can use Manga Fox, one of the. Oh, or wait. YouTube. That, well, it's published, so it might not be on Manga Fox anymore. But either way, and like, you know what's weird about it is the animation really isn't all that good, but it's just, like, you don't you don't really mind it. Like, there he can't draw hands. They're like just chubby little Vienna sausages, and his faces are weird, but like, he draws clothes really well. Hmm. Which, you know, it's Japan, of course, He's he can... He's probably a fashion design student. That, or he could just, like, copy clothes perfectly. Seriously, like, his, his hands are nasty to look at, his faces really aren't all that great, but his clothes are amazing. So yeah, um, 
that's our basic review of Hitalia. Um, that's all that you really need to know is that it's basically... And the questions will be answered in the next video if you ask questions. I don't know if they'll have questions. If they do, then they might do video. <laughs> yes. Alright. So, this is X at Heart Sora X and... X Rainbow Queen X. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>